Hello guys, my name is Zia Costa and welcome back to another video in this video series on how to create text editor using Tikinta and Python. In this video we're going to be looking at adding functionality to our uh, menu buttons. Um, but before we dive into that, let's, I just want to make a video as these imports. I'm currently importing everything from the Tikinta library and that's not exactly as that's not exactly efficient. And I think it's just it's you, what you what you're having to do is you're gonna have to load more 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 files which is just not necessary so I'm gonna specifically uh, choose what I want to import and TK is something I want to import so we scroll the text so we can have a uh, text area to work with and the the reason why we use a uh, sc uh, scroll text instead of text area which is another module into Kintis because text error doesn't provide us with the ability to scroll. That's why we just use scroll text. Because if we just use text area, if we were just to import text area, we wouldn't have the ability to have a scroll bar and such. So that's why I prefer, uh, I prefer to use scrolled text. Um, so we import TK scroll text uh, and we also want to import is menu and file dialog which is the module which we'll be using in this video. And get rid of, I have to replace this, that, and remove this import. So, we want to now um, add functions to these uh, menu to these menu buttons. So let's create some functions. Let's define some of them. And we're just gonna, functions. I'm going to de define the open file function to begin with. So we just up here open. We just simply, what we simply do uh, to to link a function to a button, we just simply type in the command equals open file. What this does is whenever it's clicked, it'll just do whatever the command is. Uh, so we'll go over here, okay, command equals open file. Let's, let, okay, let's read the open file. And open file, we want it to say file equals uh, file dialog. So we want to open up the file dialog. What we want to say is we want to say ask open file. Parent equals root, comma, mode equals rb, read in binary. And title we want to say over here is select a text file. So over here, file dialog ask. Yeah, that all seems fine. Now, what we also want to now do is we want to be able to now read whatever the file is into the into the text area. So what we want to say over here is we want to say if file is, equal to, is not equal to none, i.e., that this file actually contains some stuff. There is actually a file over here with data contents equals file dot read. Of course, there's 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 more than our files which are empty, but this file but the files which are empty still have message data, so you still be able to read you still load them in, you just find them empty. But when I say the file has no uh, file has no data, that like, like the file doesn't exist. But that's the only logical way I can think of a file not having data is in not existing. So Contents equals file dot read uh, text area is what we've called over here text area. And don't confuse that with a module text area. That's a different module. Uh, dot insert and if we want is the character index to be one point zero. I want to say is insert the contents please, and then file dot close. Always close the files. We're trying to close files, so then we'll be able to edit them while they are being used. So we want to always close them. So that is the open file. Let's actually test that to see if that's working all fine. File open. Let's go over here, new text file. Oh, not a new folder. Test. Let's edit uh, and let's edit it. And so this is a test file. Save. Want to open it? This say test file. 
So that was, so that's a uh, nice and working. Now let's begin as the save one. I'm going to be a max with command equals save file. So we're going to call our new function save file. So what over here we want to say is file equals oh minus bar file file equals uh, file dialog dot ask save uh, as file. I want to bear brackets mode right because we want to write. And what I want to say over here is if file is if file is not equal to none, then we want to begin actually writing up some stuff. So over here, this this going to be this going to be that this part might be might be a bit interesting. The way you have to do this. So we want to say here. What we want to say over here is we want to say data equals text area dot get. We say over here we want to get oh, we get from the first character index to the end plus and this is where it's going to become a bit weird minus one c. Now why are we doing this? Well, I'm going to I'm going to comment over over here why we do. I'm going to slice. And slice off the last character from get as an extra return or enter is added. Because of that extra uh, enter, we want to get rid of that. And then we want to say here file.write, and then we want to write that data in. I'm going to say file.close. So if you were to rerun this, this is a save test. Let's file save. So this is save test dot txt. The reason why I have to say txt is because if we do not, it's not going to save it. Um, it's not going to save it as a txt file. It's just going to save it as a file. There's going to be no extension. Um, so if we didn't save it, you wouldn't have this dot txt. Which so that's the text document. Now if we save that, let's try and open it up. We got nothing. Why did we get nothing? I think we have to add self. Oh, n's not defined, is that one? Why is n not defined? N's not defined. I think n's not defined because we're missing self. That's why I think the issue is. Let's try and run it. Let's try. This is a save test. Save. Save test. Yes, we place the file. That's fine. No. Self is not defined. Okay, so it's not that thing. 